This message can save you hours and hours of pain. Headache pain. Pain. Depression. Pain. Tension. Pain. Anxiety. Hercules, hero of song and story. Hercules, winner of ancient glory. Fighting for the right, fighting with his might. With the strength of ten ordinary men. Do you know the stomach secretes two pints of gastric acid every day? Pain. Fatigue. Pain. Pain. Stay tuned for Disco Teen coming up next on The Big U. Season's greetings from WNJU-TV, Channel 47, broadcasting from studios in Newark, transmitting in black and white and color from the Empire State Building in New York City. The cult of the sadists, who derive their pleasure from pain, and those who pay are allowed to sit and watch the ritual. All of the sickness of the world and its people are here in one motion picture for you to witness. Yes, it's a sick, sick, sick world. This is headache pain. Pain. Depression, tension, anxiety, fatigue, pain. My dear, my dear. Gasport, will you shut up? If you don't shut up, I'll hang you back up on the hook, okay? I've got a, I've got a, a reading here to do, and I don't want to hear any more of your remarks. <laughs> here, here we go. This is, this is a, a dedication I'm reading here. Now, you listen. It'll do you some good. My dear, as you lie napping and I stroke your matted hair, I feel compelled to prove to you how much I really care. I may not say I love you very often to your face, but deep inside you know that you're my favorite basket case. <laughs> we share a certain chemistry and get along so well, it makes me want to stay with you regardless of the... of the smell. They say the love you take is equal to the love you make, but nothing says I love you like a hammer and a stake. Isn't that right, my dear? <laughs> I'd climb the highest mountain or swim the deepest ocean, if I thought that it would prove my true undead devotion. I'd gladly bring you fresh bouquets of flowers every day, but the cemetery workers keep on chasing me away. Now at last I've found a way to prove my love's still strong. I'll throw my heart and soul into the lyrics of a song. And every tune that follows I now dedicate to you. So join me as we share in our internment for two. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> the way those clots surround your eyes, your liver spots, they tantalize. We need a tomb, adjoining rooms, and internment for two. The way you drool, it makes me sweat. I dim the lights, but I'm too wet. Let's take a stroll, go dig a hole for an internment for two. Together we will lie in state forever, hand in hand. Let's lock the vault and seal our fate. Just you and me, and monster makes three. The way you head just flops around. I stand it up, it falls back down. We need a two adjoining rooms and internment for two. Isn't that lovely? She's playing that piano with her toes. Isn't that grand? <laughs> I love you, my dear. using both feet now. <laughs> Together we will lie in state forever, hand in hand. Let's lock the vault 
and seal our fate. Just you and me, and monster makes three. It's time to go. No looking back. Give me a smile. Get in the sack. Don't thrash about. I'll let you out. At our internment for two. Though worms may bite, we'll be all right in our internment for two. All down the street, they're standing in line with white lipstick and one thing on their mind. Hey, little freak with a lunch pail purse Underneath the paint, you're just a little girl Dancing at the zombie zoo Dancing at the zombie zoo Painted in a corner, and all you wanna do Is to stand at the zombie zoo Cute little dropout, how come you pack a rod? Is your mother in a clinic? Has your father got no job? Sometimes you're so impulsive, you shaved off all your hair You look like Boris Karloff and you don't even care! Dancing at the zombie zoo Dancing at the zombie zoo Painted in the corner and all you wanna do Is dance down at the zombie zoo She disappears at sunrise I wonder where she goes into the night I'm falling down again, you show up with your friends half alive Dancing at the zombie zoo Dancing at the zombie zoo Well, you can make a big impression Or go through life unseen You might end up restricted and over 17 It's so hard to be perfect, so easy to be led Somewhere behind the pavement, you'll find the living dead Dancing at the zombie zoo Dancing at the zombie zoo Painted in a corner, and all you wanna do Is dance down at the zombie zoo she disappears at sunrise, I wonder where she goes into the night. Comes falling down again, you show up with your friends half alive. Dancing at the zombie zoo, dancing at the zombie zoo. Painted in a corner, and all you wanna do is dance down at the zombie zoo. Death down at the zombie zoo Death down at the zombie zoo Practice safe sex, we don't see each other for months on end. Bootleg.
the pornographic shoe place, 3617 Main Street, Flushing. From the salacious mind of Adam Trent has come this foot thing to bring a new dimension to your love life. Leather shoes and boots from Italy and Spain. Never mind, Massachusetts, never mind. Need I say more, Italy and Spain, and a traditional maroon carpet from the street back to the indoor john, which is available to bona fide customers in cases of emergency. Toe touching is now done by the salesman only on request, but no proof of age is required. And let me set your minds at ease about the older cat at the cash register. He is not the local narco. He is, in fact, Adam Trent Sr., who was taken off welfare and given meaningful employment and hippie clothes by his son, Adam Jr. Bootleg 36, 17 Main Street, Flushing. Buy a pair of shoes or boots from Italy or Spain and see how much more fun it is to kick your old lady or your old man or both of them. <laughs> Follow me straight down to hell where disco demons used to dwell. I've got a brand new tale to tell at Satan's Country Line Dance. Disco music had its day, the dam wants something new to play. Beyond that burning bale of hay, it's Satan's Country Line Dance. Pick up trucks with gun racks gleam, good old boys drink kerosene. Their necks are red, their teeth are green, grease your pig with Vaseline. <laughs> Bump and grind with Billy Bob, he shot his boss and lost his job. His girlfriend left him for his dog at Satan's Country Line Dance. Old Billy Ray, he hit his stride with one hit song I can't abide. It's achy breaky genocide at Satan's Country Line Dance. Now any fool can plainly see you shouldn't marry family. But if you do, you get in free. Come on my dear and dance with me. You choose the surface world, nobody here will blame you. But me, I'd rather rot in hell than do the Macarena. <laughs> well, Satan finally had his fill, he runs them doggies down the hill. The music stops, they all stand still at Satan's country line dance. That devil flashed an evil grin, then one by one he pushed him in the burning pit of smoke and sin at Satan's country line dance. The flames begin to flicker. And then all at once they shout. All that beer and cellulite just snuffed the fire out. <laughs> now life in hell is cool and bright. We all watch hee haw day and night. Has anybody got a light at Satan's country line dance? It's always hell at the line dance. <laughs> Another clap of thunder from a sky as black as coal Icy fingers wrap around your dreams and won't let go You force yourself to wake up, but you wish you'd stay to sleep When the screaming starts from the asylum down the street <laughs> Rainy nights like this upset an inmate living there His name they say is Renfield and he's howling in despair a Transylvania count destroyed his mind and left him mad And not quite accidentally brought about the Renfield laugh And it goes like this <laughs> He'd really be alright if they just feed him what he needs A rodent on a stick with an infectious skin disease if he were living somewhere else, he might be called Gourmet. But he was living there, and so they hauled his butt away. Renfield has this strange, contagious laugh he loves to share. He jerks his head around and shakes the crab lice from his hair. 
He entertains the inmates and the whole asylum staff. And when he starts convulsing, they all do the Renfield laugh. And it goes like this all together. <laughs> Or take out food just echo in the night. Dracula has found somebody else's neck to bite. He wants to serve his master, only this and nothing more. The tears run down his cheek and to the drain down the floor. Put out! Tonight, while stuffing cotton in your ears to dull the sound, but still you can hear the screaming from the other side of town. Fight the urge to laugh along, for if it doesn't pass, nothing but a sedative can stop that Renfield laugh, and it goes like this. <laughs> In every vampire's life Come moments now and then When goodness seems to threaten you Don't yield, don't bend You'll triumph in the end A wicked thought will pull you through When things are going wrong and virtue might succeed Remember to yourself be true Fight hard, spread hate And if you concentrate A wicked thought will pull you through Keep your eyes upon the ground Fill your heart with gloom It takes a heap of a haunting To make a grave a tomb So banish all those fears Tomorrow things will change A darker day is in store for you. Be strong, don't fail, and evil will prevail. A wicked thought will pull you through. Hot on, hot on, unbowed in your shroud. A wicked thought will pull. Take a letter, my dear. <clears throat> Adam Trent, Men's Shop, 3654 Main Street, Flushing. Dear Adam, last night I made a swoop through your place and I did one of my famous inspections. Uh, may I report that your selection of freaky shirts... Uh, am I going too fast for you, my dear? No, 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 later, 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 later. Your selection... Uh, let's go on here. Your selection of freaky colored shirts with so many varieties of colors, I was uh, quite taken with the sharp pointy ones and those incredible flip suits and striped suits and handmade vests and all the new imported leather jackets and antique gold and red and the et, et cetera colors and the 24-inch bells with buttons where the old-fashioned zippers used to be. Fantastic idea, Adam Trent, dear boy. Uh, a new paragraph. Are you, are you comfy, my dear? 
I was also pleased to see that uh, grooving is still encouraged among the clothes racks and that you have a most liberal policy of clothes touching by the beautiful people who honor in looking for the right thing for them. I touched some clothes myself, some of which had people inside, and that's all part of the fun at your place, Adam Trent, 3654 Main Street, Flushing. Yours very truly, etc., etc. Bite me, my dear. It's hickey time. Elevator takes you down 40 floors beneath the ground As black as sin, so have a care The oxygen is thin in there Frankenstein's got a den You won't come out like you went in Pull up a tombstone and sit down Frankenstein will be around the drink he serves will blow your top. Strip nine laced with soda pop. Frankenstein's goddamn. You won't come out like you went in. That drummer man is really tough. Beating drums is not enough. He beats a coffin in between until its owner kicks and screams. Frankenstein's got a ten. You won't come out like you waited. You won't come out. I uh, I used to play the sax myself until my wife ate my fingers. Just as well. <laughs> so while you're visiting underground with all those monsters getting down, be very careful when you're dying. You just can't trust that Frankenstein. At times he's positively rude. And if he's in a nasty mood, you just might wind up his favorite dish. He'll grab your legs and make a wish. Frankenstein's got a tip. You won't come out like you went in. You won't come out like you went in. You won't come out. They got married, had a daughter, and they named her Isabel. In the moonlight, in the coffin, at the castle in the dell. There is only one for me, love, and it's you, dear Isabel. Her long tresses look like cotton, they are coarse and thick and fair. And instead of a bow weevils, she has spiders in her hair. In the cellar of the castle, where I married Isabel, we pronounced our vows of true love while they rang the funeral bell. When she's hungry, which is often, she eats spiders by the score. But they never seem to have them at the market anymore. In the moonlight, in the coffin, in the castle, in the dell, there is only one for me, love, and it's you, dear is. 
was in his coffin, sleeping soundly on his back, while mean old Doc Van Helsing planned to launch a sneak attack. The sun was slowly rising when he ripped the lid apart, and he drove that wooden stake straight through the Count's undying heart, because it's true, even monsters get the blues. We hunt them down with torches, dogs, and crucifixes too. You better mind your manners or they might come after you. <laughs> I ran into a creature at the restaurant yesterday. He said he had a craving for a tender fish fillet. A waiter soon harpooned him and dragged him out of sight. Then added Gilman chowder to the menu for the night because it's true. Even monsters get the blues We hunt them down with torches, dogs and crucifixes too It's always open season and there's nothing you can do I'll have a little uh, poison ivy salad on uh, the side Well something nice from the chef, eh? <laughs> I wonder what's for dessert. Frankenstein confided that his bride had gone astray. She left him for the wolfman and she's moving out today. He'd kill himself right now if not for one important fact. Each time he ends his life, some evil doctor brings him back because it's true. Even monsters get the blues. Their mates can be unfaithful, friends can be so cruel. It's always open season and there's nothing you can do Because it's true Even monsters get the blues We hunt them down with torches, dogs and crucifixes too You better mind your manners or they might come after you <laughs> Run, 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 run <laughs> Faster, faster Most, most fantastic collection of water bugs I have ever seen. This is Zach here, just getting up from the basement of Adam Trent's cement shop in uh, uh, Main Street, Flushing there, 3654 Main Street. Just looking over the water bug collection down in the basement there. Incredible, really incredible. But I'm, I'm up here now on the main floor making my uh, semi-annual report on Adam the Trent and his uh, collection. He's cleaned out all the summer stuff uh, with his Be Kind to the Public sale and now is ready with his fall and winter festival. Leather jackets that will make you excited, blue maxi coats, pleated elephants, double knits, hem knits, jumpsuits, velvets, etc., etc., you know, you know. Flavored shirts for all you sleeve suckers out there. And a little room to lock your mother in if she won't stay out on the sidewalk where your father found her. And all kinds of far-out clothes. The Fall and Winter Festival is on right now at Adam Trent. And while you're out there, why don't you uh, try one of these little uh, uh, king-sized water bugs? They're delicious. Absolutely delicious. Island Trench Water Bugs, 3654 Main Street Flushing, open till 9, 6 on Saturdays. <clears throat> Fall 
follow me straight down to hell where disco demons used to dwell. I've got a brand new tale to tell at Satan's Country Line Dance. Disco music had its day, the dam wants something new to play. Beyond that burning bale of hay, it's Satan's Country Line Dance. Pick up trucks with gun racks gleam, good old boys drink kerosene. Their necks are red, their teeth are green, grease your pig with Vaseline. <laughs> Up and grind with Billy Bob, he shot his boss and lost his job. His girlfriend left him for his dog at Satan's Country Line Dance. Old Billy Ray, he hit his stride with one hit song I can't abide. It's achy breaky genocide at Satan's Country Line Dance. Now any fool can plainly see you shouldn't marry family. But if you do, you get in free. Come on my dear and dance with me. Up and growl at each other, grab some hair and give it to your mother. Kick your swingy and knock down your brother. Save a little moonshine, pour it on your father. Don't mind the monsters, they're scaring each other. And if by chance they just might bite you, you could go home with hydrophobia. Ha 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 ha! Should you choose the surface world, nobody here will blame you. But me, I'd rather rot in hell than do the Macarena. Ha 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 ha! Well, Satan finally had his fill, he runs them doggies down the hill. The music stops, they all stand still at Satan's country line dance. Devil flashed an evil grin, then one by one he pushed them in. The burning pit of smoke and sin at Satan's country line dance. The flames begin to flicker, and then all at once they shout. All that beer and cellulite just snuffed the fire out. <laughs> <laughs> now life in hell is cool and bright We all watch Hee Haw day and night Has anybody got a light At Satan's Country Line Dance? It's always hell At the Line Dance <laughs>
Uh, I need a little strength to go through this. Uh, kids, here's uh, good news for you, you know. You look what uh, Elmo Top has put in uh, on the Lucky Kicks now, you know. That's the wonderful world of Elmo's magic menagerie there within the greatest Marvellino's uh, magic paint. And uh, have a zingy time collecting his animal friends, you know. And there's even more fun there because you get the, uh, you can be a magi magician, I can't say the word, magician too, you know. Uh, you can see these magic stars right here on the card here. Now, wait a minute, here we are. Magic star right there, you see. And you just take a little dippy of water here. And if you're very clever like I am, and everybody, no reason why you see that, you can paint up the pictures right there like that. Give them a red neck there, that's very good. And uh, uh, presto, of course, you've got the thing. They're right there in the uh, eyes of... Uh, Magic stars turned into magic paint. Now, <clears throat> the color of the picture you see is, uh, see how easy it is, just get color there and put it on. And it's fun too. And the kids, oh boy, the lucky cakes are now lighter, fluffier, and chocolatier than ever. Cause Elmo now is making them with a new and better tasting formula. So remember, you just remember now, uh, what do you gotta remember? Oh, you gotta remember, wait a minute, wait, wait. I'm very confused now, very confused. When I'm confused, I just sit up and say, I am confused. <laughs> I was telling you, about how better tasting the formula is. So you just remember now, you not only get Elmo's magic coloring cards with the different, uh, each different animal on the inside, Lucky Cake, you also get a new taste treat. You ask your mom to buy them today. Now I am no longer confused. I understand just what the idea was there. I wanted to ask you to get your mom to buy them today and you get the little cards on the inside and that's glorious and I feel better. I feel better. Now, oh, I have a message here. Joe, uh, just, just be patient, Joe. Uh, message here from, let me your finger here, let me read this. Uh, wonderful things. Oh, yes, this wonderful things are happening. This came through a uh, special delivery here. Wonderful things happening on Channel 11 this weekend. Uh, things look especially wonderful. You tune in for the big attractions, Joe. Are you, are you with me here? All right. Uh, tomorrow morning at 10, of course, it's Chuck McCann's Halloween special. And uh, tomorrow afternoon at 5, you'll see Bombo the Jungle Boy. That'd be very exciting for the African jazz, eh? <laughs> yes, he'd like that. He, the old friends of his. And uh, more jungle thrills are in store for you on Sunday, of course, when Jungle Jim battles giant killer ape. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> You'd like to get in on that, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you came to life. You're a little young yet, but you'll be all right. I'll, I'll put him in a, I'll put him in a time machine next week. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, but maybe I'll put the mayor also in there and the chief police and all kinds of people like that. I think you've been acting a little silly lately. Now, right after that, let me see. Right, where were we here? Where were we, Joe? Right, uh, boys and girls, yes. Make a date to see Halloween special. Uh, Zimba, Zimba, Zim, Zim Bomba. That's Zim Bomba. And on Sunday at 1, right after, let's have fun, is Jungle Jim Motion Picture. It's all about the jungle since you a week, I, I think. It looked like a wonderful weekend, uh, and, and you know, uh, with uh, 11, that's Channel 11. And hope you enjoyed and get back on Monday here for more and more of the same here. These very exciting uh, experiments that we carry on here. Keep it moving here so that uh, I will uh, now, yeah, now, now here it is. We got the idea of Globemaster with a rocket launcher, Jeep, radar, and lots more. And of course the best buys, the best toys, the idea of Globemaster packed full of weapons and troops there. Now I've got this, uh, got this thing here. I'm going to give it to her, and I must remind you, things have gone rather rather hastily here today, uh, because I don't know what's going on, to tell the truth. And uh, we have, uh, following this, is uh, Chuck McCann, who's been kind enough to lend me about five minutes, which you'll never get back. <laughs> and then comes Eddie Lawrence, and right now, open your mouth, my dear, right now, <coughs> right now, uh, I must say goodbye, whatever you are. Now, get on out of here, go on, beat it, all of you. And don't forget, 4.30 tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. We're still here. Go on home, all of you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's me, Zach, here back at 3654 Main Street in Flushing in front of old Adam Trent's, uh, who has asked me to come out here to see his new thing. The largest collection of pants in Queens. And that's it. I've come all the way out here to this semi-neighborhood to stare at piles of pants. <laughs> well, he's right. He, he's got more pants than anywhere else in Queens. Through the window, they appear to be warm, crushed, belled, cuffed, zippered, striped, buttoned, high-rise, etc. Down in the basement in Waterbug country, more pants in reserve. And, of course, he has the latest styles and everything else to wear, like uh, neckties and so on. Ooh, lovely customer coming out now. Hello there, my dear. Those, those new Adam Trent pants look lovely on you. Have some candy? Huh? Oop, dropped it, dropped it. I, I'll pick it up, my dear. Oh, oh, oh. I suddenly feel very religious, my dear. My Adam Trent pants have been rent asunder. Uh, would you care to walk me down to the cemetery? We'll read a few stones down there together, hey? Well, I've got all kinds of mail that's been coming in here. Someone left, uh, someone stuck in here. Says, hands off, Igor, and all that. Zachary Private. From a, uh, from, uh, Joan, uh, Joanne, uh, Mason, and, uh, Peggy Murphy, and, uh, 
My word, they give him the apartment number and telephone number. <laughs> My George. And they've sent me here a lovely orchid that I... They've sent me here a lovely orchid and expressed their thorough love for me and, and oh, yes, Graham. Thank you, my dear. Well, I'll, I'll wear that on occasion. Right now is a good occasion, I think, when we have the... Um, Hollywood is here. Hollywood is here today, you know. Mr. Mr. Uh, Allen has arrived and uh, has been on the Chuck McCann show already. So we're expecting him here because he did graduate from uh, Transylvania University years ago. He was one of the first ones to be uh, asked to leave that country, and I followed shortly thereafter. <laughs> We have a, a, a racy reputation back there. And, of course, he's very big with the gypsies, you know, Gypsy uh, Smith or whatever his name is out there in California. And I'm uh, I'm uh, not Gypsy Smith. He was an evangelist. My word, I'll be in trouble now. <laughs> oh, boy. That's like calling Billy Graham a thumb, you know. I Oh, my word. Uh, no, Gypsy, Gypsy, uh, Gypsy Boots. Igor Holler's Gypsy Boots. I, I of course, uh, as part of our... I've got to stop eating. I'm sorry. I'm talking when I'm eating. That's very impolite. Very impolite. But uh, we have also here today, and I must tell Mr. Allen about that, we have the, um, the Three Stooges. This is, after all, an educational program, and uh, we have to uh, teach you how to defend yourself. And so we show you Three Stooges three times a day here in pieces. We show it to you all at once. <laughs> you couldn't stand it, really. <laughs> I mean to say, you'd go out and beat up your neighbors and all, no matter how friendly you were to them. You'd go out and try it on their heads, you know. Hit them and poke them in the eyes and all. Couldn't have that. We get blamed for that. We get blamed for lots of things here in Channel 11. And uh, we don't have any commercials, which is living very dangerously. Very dangerous. <laughs> very, few, uh, very few television uh, shows exist very long without commercials. But we have, uh, we have uh, mesmerized the president of the company and everybody from the Daily News all the way down here in the basement. And so uh, it, it, this uh, marvelous film is now being brought to you without commercials in this whole uh, 35 minutes. The only 35 minute television station uh, show on the television. Here we go. Oh, boy, we're in for it now. <laughs> S-I-X, six. <laughs> we show you everything here. We show you everything. Every once in a while they, oh, oh, I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. The pattern of uh, six foot feet. Here we are. <laughs> Well, bravo, my boy, my boy. Didn't know they could let you laugh like that down in the basement. Yes, they do. We are down in the basement. I'm glad you realized that we are way, way down, and we had a lot of trouble with this Daily News, which is upstairs here. Oh, yes. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, your name's Alan, is true. Uh, uh, Zach Zachary, uh, class of 82 there, Transylvania. Heard a lot about your basement. Yes, well, uh, I, I heard a lot about your um, a big uh, theater out there in the... Uh, in the western part of this country. I haven't got out there really uh, to stay, and uh, uh -huh. we've been giving our lectures. I'm glad you came, because I'm, I'm about to make uh, you realize that it's a dinner hour, and uh, I've been cautioned about uh, oh, being yes. a, little too, a little too, you know, they might uh, lose yeah. their dim you know? Ah, well, all of them are trying to lose <laughs> well, weight. Well, we're going to have a anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm working up to this for months now to see if they've, they've got the stomach for it. <laughs> so we're going over here now. This, of course, is, you recognize this as the prehistoric amoeba. Uh, oh, yes. This is Amoeba Slavis Amoeba. Uh -huh. And this is, uh, here's the old flag, by the way, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it thrilling to see that? It's a big one, isn't it? It is a large Amoeba, yes. And yeah. I thought you and I might uh, demonstrate here. This, this, by the way, here, this is an unfortunate one. It had a, had a sort of a nervous breakdown, I guess. It doesn't, it just sits there and has been for several weeks now. Oh, really? Yes, I, 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 yes, I got wind of it a little while ago, but I didn't uh, <laughs> know for sure. You, you, you knew your way then, didn't you? Oh, yes. yes. That's well, what I you. Uh, here, for instance, here are two little, uh, little dried peas that have just been sitting there. Now, normally, an active amoeba would, you know, eat them up. Yes, yes certainly, certainly, my boy. I'm glad to hear they were peas. I saw them moving a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind that, but they were moving towards each other. And Fruit flies, my boy. Fruit yes, flies, and they do, does, they yes. do like one another. I mean, we have to uh, say so. Yes. People do get married, and so do fruit flies. Uh, but uh, uh, what was I about to say? Oh, 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 yes. Uh, that uh, this, of course, is the giant thing. We all uh, come from things like this, you know. And yeah, I, find I came from a thing like that about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was a million laughs. In the <laughs> Chuck McCann, I dare say. Yes, that's the one. Well, he does remind me, and sometimes I've told him that he should uh, cut out the food and all. Well, uh, but uh, of course, the thing is that uh, these things I find uh, over in the bogs of New Jersey. The bogs? The bogs, yes, across there where they used to have the hogs. Now they're known as the bogs, you know? Yes, the hog bogs. Yes. <laughs> I knew I could count on you for that. 
That's why he was thrown out of the country, really. It was, uh, <laughs> he used to hold forth in Parliament there, and the Prince of Transylvania couldn't take it any longer. He wasn't very witty. Well, now, of course, uh, this, uh, we, we may never get back to the studios. You realize that? Well, <laughs> don't write letters, confound it. Uh, but this, of course, is, it's, you see, you see, it either hates me and likes you or vice versa. It's hard to tell with these things. Hello. They don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it seems but to have a one of its own. It does, it does. Now, I want to prove here that uh, this, of course, this thing is a, is a, is a dead uh, dead soldier here, as we say. This one, uh -huh. oh, pardon me. Dead. Uh -huh. that, that is absolutely, there's nothing there, really. You may listen if you care to, but I don't I don't advise it because the earphones are a little sticky. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got an amoeba sauce on the thing. We do, we do, we do, we do. We do, we do. Uh, save that, I'll show you. <laughs> Well, that's all right. That's quite all right. Yeah, well, I, I have all... No, that's... The, you see, uh, the, all these marks bring back memories. These are all different, various little operations we've had. Uh -huh. uh, and besides the fact they bring back memories, no cleaner in New York will accept this coup. <laughs> <laughs> So that I, I just wear it as is, and, and if right. it wasn't for that thing that uh, led you down yeah. here by the odor, well, uh, enough said. Yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to attack this thing. My word. Did you, did, you, did you see that? Did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I think it's on us, too. Get down. <laughs> my dear, my dear boy. All right. Here. We get uh, on a level with this. Yeah. Now, now, of course, uh, as I say, they're, 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 they're very voracious when they eat. They, How they, did you get it? Eat like crazy. By the way, you do have a show. I must remember to say you have a show here late at night, don't you? Yes, yes. All right. On this station at 10.30. That's all right. Don't, don't overdo it. That's all right. <laughs> Now, uh, would you care to, to this? Don't be frightened, by the way. Do not be frightened. Don't don't anyone call for the emergency or Mayor Wagner. He's got other things to worry about. <laughs> uh, he did get the snow. Uh, Bob, he did a grand job in the snow. Thank heaven for the rain. <laughs> I was out of town. What did he do with the snow? Uh, nothing. Oh, good. <laughs> out of town. <laughs> yes, well, they had a very expensive machines to dry and uh, melt the snow, and they blew up. <laughs> and uh, so I, I attempted to do it myself. Now, of course, I, I would say that the, the amoeba is, is senseless to pain, as you know. And uh, if you slice through, we just do this, and it, it heals up right away, so don't worry about it. Aren't these things now, supposed to separate by themselves? Uh, they, they would normally, yes. But you know, the prehistoric ones, like the dinosaurs, got very tired toward the end. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think up these things, my boy? Yeah, yeah. Put them <laughs> off the sides, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, now, 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 serious up here, my boy, serious up. Because oh, we yeah. got a lot of university students out there watching, and a lot of people who are trying to work their way into kindergarten, even, uh, <laughs> are, are trying to, to understand what's going on here. And a lot of people are just <laughs> holding on to their dinners. <laughs> well, now, we're, we're going to open this up now. And as I... Now, don't you cringe, my boy. It's, it's the thing, after all. And you just open it up, and we'll see just... No pain or whatever, right? That's right. No, no pain or whatever. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't feel... <laughs> How can you be sure? I think it's... I think... <laughs> I think it's time we had... I, I introduced you to my wife. I'm afraid to go any further. After right. that, I'll come back. Very well. Confound the thing. If it doesn't feel pain, what point is there in hitting it? Well, uh, just get the message, my boy. Get the message. It's like hitting that mule on the head with a two by four, you know. Yeah. This is my wife, by the way, and she's been waiting. She's been waiting. Oh, really? Yes, she's been waiting, uh, waiting up here for you, uh, my dear. Yeah, you just step in there, and I'll get in this end. Mommy, step. Step, 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 step right in there, and I'll get in there with you. It's, it's, it's quite all right. It's your wife? It's my wife. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? I do. 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 No, you're a guest. All right, here we go. Just get in there now. Very well. Yeah. Just squat down there. I think you'll find right. lots of room there. We'll play knees together. Yeah. Uh, right on the other hand, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, you, wait, 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 wait. You're, 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 you're sitting on my wife, my boy. I'm sorry. Really, I, I don't come out to the California and sit right down on your wife, do I? Uh, I mean, not that I'm aware of, no, no. Anyway, my dear, really, really, my dear. I well, she didn't make have it. to go to all that trouble. Well, she, 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 I told her to make a banana cream pie, and she's come up here with a banana sandwich of some sort. You didn't even take the skins off, my dear. Let's sit down here. Yeah, I think she needs a shave. <laughs> well, she needs a lot of things, Chris. <laughs> you weren't doing anything this evening, were you? Just this. <laughs> well, uh, I take my dear. I don't want to make her feel bad, so if you just separate the bun there, if you care to, and and. Uh, you may, uh, I don't know what you're wearing. There's always the stooges. <laughs> to get us out of a predicament like this. 
Well, th thank you so much for coming, dear boy, and, and uh, I'll, I'll explain to my wife how, how it is with you. And, uh, you All right. Know, pardon me, my dear. <laughs> Adam Trent has become aware that bare feet are fighting a losing battle with street-level pollution, and his greedy approach to this problem is to open a shoes place that he calls bootleg. And it's across the street from his now famous Adam Trent men's shop on the ever dangerous Main Street in Flushing, 3619 Main Street to be precise. Now, uh, bootleg... <coughs> Oh, my dear, stop it, my dear. The sexy stuff comes later. Bootleg features imports from England, Italy, Spain, and Massachusetts, all in eye-catching colors and in all sizes. Uh, shoes and boots, that is, of course. <laughs> uh, also featured is an indoor restroom. Uh, the salesmen are a groovy bunch who have never had any experience whatsoever fitting shoes on feet, but who are very good at running their fingers under your toes, your bare toes, mind you, and we all know how touching that can be. At last, at last, bootleg, 3619 Main Street Flushing, a boot and shoe place for the uh, foot fetishes. All right, all right, my dear, kick me, my dear. It's bootleg time. <gasps> Ooh, lovely, my dear. <laughs> Joe Parr. I'm a mortician. <laughs> My partner is Frank Weaver. This is the city, Mount Idy, Transylvania. <laughs> the scene, a laboratory. The problem, some missing monsters. Our job, find them. I'm Zachary, gentlemen. Zachary here. We're the Mort, Max. Uh, not my Zach. Your problem, just tell us your problem. My monster, gone. Bill of the moan, three hands, now it's gone. Went away, turn on the ray and all, came back, no sack. Uh, the monster, it was in a sack, Zach. <laughs> in a sack in the back of the shack. In a black sack on a rack in the back of the shack? That's fact. In the black sack, sack, uh, with the other stacks of sacks packed on the sack rack in the back of the shack. The sack was black back there. Don't understand, no slack in the sack. Was it a male sack? Could have been a male sack, uh, maybe female. <laughs> I, uh, I guess you think I'm a whack, a uh, great big whack, eh? Uh. That's about the size of it, mister. How do you make a monster, mister? Well, uh, first I put in the eyes, nice and tight. Go on. I swing them to the left, and I swing them to the right. Never mind, mister. We prefer that you don't. Put in the ears, right on, plant them deep. And that's what I call building the creep. Put them in the eyes. I got carried away there. Uh, this missing monster, mister, uh... What did it look like? Well, it had bangs and uh, fangs, uh, the bangs of an orangutan. <laughs> did the orangutan bangs hang? <laughs> dangle on an angle, except when they tangle. He had, he had dangling, tangling, angling orangutan bangs that hang. <laughs> uh, it had the ear of a steer. The rear of a steer? I didn't say that, mister. I said the rear of a steer. I said... I said the ear of a... He had the rear of a deer. Anything else? He wore pegs. Uh, beer cake pegs. Were the cake pegs on his legs? Uh, somewhere else. Uh, not his legs. Neck? Not with you, thanks. <laughs> The monster's name was Peter. How about his last name? Uh, Piper. Let's see if we have your story so far, mister. You're missing a monster. You're one of the missing monsters, mister. <laughs> the monster's name is Peter Piper. He wears the fangs of an orangutan that clang when he sang. He has the tail of a male snail and the snails of a frail quail. And first you put the nose on nice and tight, then you swing it to the left and swing it to the right, then you peck him in ice until he's cool, and that's what you call making a ghoul. I didn't say that, mister. I didn't say that, mister. I'm 
I'm not the missing monsters, mister. I'm missing monsters, master, mister. <laughs> His name is Peter Piper. He picks and peels pecks of pickled peppers. Peppered pickles, pampered poppies, and puckered parsley. <laughs> he doesn't have orangutan fangs. He has orangutan fangs. Some other time, mister. We'll hear about it some other time. You thinking the same thing I am, Joe? That's right. Exactly, there's one thing we'd like you to do. Well, uh, First anything, of all, uh, I... anything at all, gentlemen, just tell me what to do. I, I'll do anything you want. You want me to do it? Uh, tell me, just tell me anything at all. Tell me, that's all. Just what is it you want me to do, man? We want you to I... stop mucking and taking over this show. That's what we want you to do. Yeah. The two more searched the lab. They found three bats, bats, uh, bats, a gull skull, and a cool ghoul. <laughs> no, 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 no. The case was marked closed. The gentleman was Zachary. He is our competition, in a sense, on Channel 7. And at this Christmas time, we thought we'd bring him over and wish him a terrible new year. <laughs> now I know why this audience, these are Zachary folks, aren't they? No, I can always tell, I can always tell uh, when we bring a big guest star like that, that, that draws their own group. Lovely to have shared this dressing room with you, my dear. No, 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 no. Enough is enough now. Must uh, step outside to see how my Adam Trent suit looks in the daylight. Bye-bye now, bye-bye. Whew, what a, what a check. Ah, oh, here we are. <coughs> suit looks great. Ho, ho, ho. Come over here, little girl. Want some candy? Oh, oh, hello there, officer. I haven't seen you since you busted me for kicking that old grandmother off the sidewalk last year. I'm, I'm making my weekly visit to the probation officer right now in my Adam Trent English walking suit. Gets the probation man very uptight when I dress up like this. <laughs> you law and order freaks, you're all alike. <laughs> I advise all my friends on probation, or who soon will be, and that includes all of us, uh, to try an Adam Trent suit from England, Italy, or Belgium here at 3654 Main Street, Flushing. Round the world suits from Adam Trent. Makes you feel very sexy. <laughs> oh, ow, there, watch it. You hit me on the head with that stick there, man. But I use a dirty word where it can't say sexy in public. I'm up against the wall. All right, all right. And I don't mess up my Adam Trent suit, man. Careful, careful, careful. You just have to sound drunk. You don't have to go away. Way down upon the dirty tan, you're far, far away. There stands our noble alma mater, sinking in the swampy clay. Brain transplanting in the moonlight, making monsters too. Oh, how I wish that we were back at old Transylvania, you. Everybody, way down upon the dirty deep down you, far, far away. There stands a noble alma mater singing in the swampy clay. Brain transplanting in the moonlight, making monsters too. Give me a T. T. Give me an R. R. Give me an A. A. Give me an N. N. Give me an S. S. Give me a Y. Y. Give me an L. L. A v. V. Oh, 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 I. Give me an A. Transylvania. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a feeble little gesture. <laughs> <laughs>